are back with our top chef, Zizi. She has just made for us some drumstick chicken with dried fruit chutney. It was delicious. I highly recommend to make it at home. And easy, easy, right? It's very easy. It's very quick. Um, why don't you tell us what um, we're going to make? Okay. So this is one of my favorite recipes because it's so light. I mean, it's steak, but what we're doing on top is all fresh. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to see how easy it is. You're going to be blown away. Okay. I'm ready to get blown away. Okay, so we have our piece of steak. This is called Entrecut in Israel. Uh -huh. It's the number one. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're anywhere else in the world, you could just buy any steak that is best for grilling, not putting in the oven. Um, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, and we're gonna rub a little olive oil into it on both sides. Oh. And while you're doing that, I am going to zest my ginger. Like that. So we just zested our ginger, and now we're gonna chop cilantro and mint together. If you don't like cilantro and if you don't like cilantro, you can use basil and mint. Mm -hmm. Or just cilantro. Some people really don't. I really love it, but you have to you have to know what everyone likes and doesn't like. <laughs> Please the whole world. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put that in our bowl. So now we have ginger, garlic, cilantro, and mint. We're gonna add some olive oil and some salt. If it's too salty, we'll know who to blame. We could do a teeny bit more. And now we're gonna put in the juice of two limes. Do you do the other side too? Yes, I did. Very good. Okay, you can pour a little bit of olive oil while you juice the limes into this. I'll pour olive oil on and rub it in. Teamwork. Teamwork. Thinly slice our nectarines, which just came in season, and it's really exciting. Now our grill is really really hot, our grill pan, so you can do this um, at home, as you can see, or on a barbecue. And we're gonna put this on for three minutes per side. So now, this is basically a chimichurri, you could call it. We have our chimichurri. We have bean sprouts and our nectarines. So here's how easy it is. And you could literally make this first and then add all of that to that bowl. But I wanted to show you separately just so you understand. So now we're going to add the chimichurri. Wow, smells great. Now we let it rest a couple of minutes. So is there a reason why you put it on the cutting board and not a plate? Yes. yes. So I really like things being served on wood, but the bigger reason is because I'm gonna slice it. Mm -hmm. And to slice something on a plate is really uncomfortable and annoying. Okay. And, and then I don't have to transfer. I like to serve it on a board, on a piece of wood. So you'll see. So now we're gonna thinly slice I hope it's red in there. I hope so too. And now we're gonna drizzle the last bit of chimichurri on top and put a bunch of our beautiful nectarine salsa. Do you want it on top or on the side? I like um, it on top. top. Yeah. Wow, would you look at that? Looks great. Good job, Zeusin. Let's thank you. Taste Let's dig in. And peace. This is amazing. I absolutely love steak. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting well today. 
take good care of you. <laughs> All right, DC, thank you so much. We've learned a lot today about different flavors of kosher recipes. Um, you're welcome to come on our show whenever you'd like. We'd love to have you. I yeah. might. Um, and for more recipes like this, for easy, flavorful recipes, visit my website, chefzcrecipes.com. Bye-bye. Welcome to Flavors of Israel. I'm your host, Natalie Tversky, and today we're with our chef for the day, ZC. Um, she specializes in different, combining different flavors and kosher cuisine. So, ZC, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do before we begin? Thanks, Natalie. Um, I'm a chef, and uh, I run, I cook for people in their homes and create all the recipes and menus per client, but I also run a website which is a menu subscription that people sign up for around the world and it plans out their meals for them and their dinners for them in a very quick easy way but with a very healthy um, not tasting healthy just fresh ingredients I don't put any bottles and jars and garbage into the food I really use like what came out of the ground and so on and the spices of the earth mm -hmm. so what do you have for us this week so now we're making a uh, dried fruit chutney with um, chicken drumsticks. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt and pepper the drumsticks. That's always the first step. It's always the first step. It's a really important step, yes. Some nice Himalayan salt that ZC loves to use. Yep, you're learning. <laughs> Now I'm gonna, my pan is hot, I'm gonna put the olive oil in, and we're gonna add the chicken. Okay, while that's cooking for about six minutes, we're gonna use, show you all the other ingredients. Okay. We have a purple onion, a tangerine, a chili pepper, a cinnamon stick, and rosemary, and I happen to have lemon thyme, but you can use regular thyme also. So I'm just slicing the onion and the chili pepper. And you can use only half of it if you don't want it to be too spicy. And then the tangerine we're gonna juice. So all we have to do is cut it in half. All of this we leave whole um, because all of the pieces come off naturally anyways and then you don't have to go through all the hard work of pulling it off. Got you. All right, so it sounds like the chicken's really sizzling. Are you supposed right. to leave it on a high flame? Yeah. Yeah? High. So we flip the chicken and brown it on the other side. And while it's browning, we're gonna add our rosemary, our thyme, our cinnamon stick, our onions, our chili pepper, and our dried fruit. And you could use any dried fruit you want. I use prunes and apricots and cherries and um, craisins. Now you juice it in, but don't hurt yourself because it's really hot. Now all the ingredients are combined, what's next? So now we let it cook a little bit longer on that side, and then we add some water, mm -hmm. and we cover it and cook it for another half hour, and it's done. Okay, then. Now we're gonna put the dried fruit chutney on top, and then we're gonna take fresh thyme and sprinkle it on. You wanna do it? Chutney on the same bite. Good. Mm. Very good. ZC, you are an excellent chef and teacher today. Thank Taught you. Taught me a lot. Um, so why don't you tell the viewers at home what they should be expecting for the next recipe? Um, the next recipe is my favorite of mm -hmm. today. Is um, grilled steak with a nectarine lime salsa. Yummy. Okay. So stay tuned, guys.
Hey guys, we're back with our chef of the day, ZC, who has just prepared for us some delicious, crunchy, gluten-free pizza. And now, second recipe on the menu, tell us. So, we're making sea bass, which in Israel, this is sea bass, which is very different than what you get in the States, but it's really delicious if cooked correctly. Okay. Um, and we're making a rhubarb jam. Rhubarb is this. Okay, which is, Actually, looks like a good. celery, but just with it's a reddish color. Usually you've heard of like rhubarb pie, mm -hmm. and it's used in baking, but I am turning it into a cooking recipe because it's sweet, but a little bit of bitter, and we're going to uh, use its flavors and create a jam. Cool. So, Zizi, what's the first step? We're going to salt and pepper the fish. Mm -hmm. so I'm Evenly gonna coat. The fish. Yeah, I'm going to do one, you do one. From high up, so you get an even coat. So now we're going to chop rhubarb and leeks. A lot of people only put leeks in like a leek soup. potato soup. Okay. So I try and teach people what else we could use it for. So we're going to do that and half a chili pepper, which makes it have flavor but not spicy. I already zested my ginger and now we'll start. So I get my pan hot while I'm chopping these things. So I'm going to cut the leek in half. And then chop it. And if you have a good sharp knife, this goes much more quickly, as you can see. Okay, and then the rhubarb. So is this a spicy pepper? Yeah, so this is spicy. If you like really spicy food, use the whole thing and it's great. If you don't like spicy food at all, use the bottom half because that all the seeds are mm -hmm. in the top part and the seeds are the spiciest part. But do, don't be afraid of this if you don't like spicy food because it adds flavor, not heat. Okay. Do you like spicy food? Um, sometimes. So I'll use Depends half Depends on it. my day. <laughs> well, how about today? Today? I think I'm feeling a little spicy. Okay, good. So we'll use more than half Okay. and a little bit of the seeds. Okay, now we're going to get our pan hot. We're going to add our olive oil. Get that hot and add these ingredients. So now it's nice and hot and I'm going to add all of this. And you can see it's really cooking already. That's the sound you want to hear. Okay? We cook that for five minutes, and then we're going to add our zested ginger. We're going to add silan, which is date honey, mm -hmm. and soy sauce, and that's it. So now, this has been cooking for about six, seven minutes, and we're going to add our fresh zested ginger, silan, and soy sauce. Like that. And this turns it into like a... Uh, more of like a glaze, which is why we call it a jam. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> so you, com you made up this recipe on your own? All of these. Wow. How yeah. impressive. This is a fish spatula, specifically for fish, that I really recommend people getting. It's really inexpensive, but the little curve is what makes it like really easy to turn over fish and not struggle with it, and then your piece falls apart. Okay, so look, this is starting to glaze, and we're going to move it all over, and we're going to put our fish pieces right in. We're going to add a little more olive oil and put them in.
So now is the fun part, which is eating. We're gonna put it on the plate. And again, this fish spatula, it really makes it all hold together. Wow, this looks great. Looks like a lot of fun to, to eat. Final touch, make it pretty, add some color and flavor. Now for the tasting. Great. So I'm gonna use a fork and a knife, it's a little easier. You know what, that's <laughs> a good idea. The proper way of eating. Sour is sometimes good though. <laughs> So look, it's very buttery because it's just cooked. You don't want to overcook fish. Mmm, -hmm. mm, wow. I love the different flavors included. Thank you can you. put all the flavors on one bite. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what could be a good side dish to eat this with? Um, it, that, that's on preference, but on my website, chefsycrecipes.com, mm -hmm. I plan people's dinners for them. And if I, like for example, this would be a dinner, they will always come with a side. Oh, I see. Um, so it's between a salad or a roasted this or a rice or whatever it is, it th always comes with a great side. All right, thank you so much, Zizi. I will definitely make this at home. Good, and then you have to invite me. Of course, of course. Hopefully and it'll come out it. the same. <laughs> it will, if you follow the recipe. Okay, so stick around and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, everybody. We are with our holistic health coach, Lily Aronin. She's teaching us a lot of great things today. So over here, we have a nice display of very colorful, healthy fruits. What are we going to do today? So today, we're going to make a smoothie bowl. And this is very trendy right now because it's taking kind of that mess of a smoothie that you used to have and instead, um, making it a little thicker, a little more creamy, mm -hmm. and topping it with really delicious things that you would normally hide inside your smoothie mm -hmm. so that you get a really visual experience. And nowadays, we don't just eat with our, our mouths. We're not willing to eat healthy food that doesn't also look and taste delicious. Mm -hmm. So this really kind of upgrades that whole feeling of having a morning smoothie. So these berries you keep in the freezer, you keep it frozen? So I keep my blueberries frozen. What that's gonna do is gonna give this a really thick, creamy texture to mm -hmm. our smoothie. You don't need to defrost it at all? No, we want okay. them frozen. And we have our strawberries, which are gonna top our smoothie, and those are gonna be fresh. Okay. And uh, it's really important that no matter what fruit you use inside your smoothie, that you're using seasonal fruit. And that means it's gonna be at its peak nutritional mm -hmm. content. And all of these foods are especially fantastic after a workout. So if you're in one of our accountability groups and you're working out for 30 minutes every day, then this is the perfect breakfast to kind of have afterwards. And we're also gonna do it in one of these great jars that has a sealing lid. So again, when you make one of these smoothies, it's gonna have, uh, it's gonna make a few jars of smoothie. Mm -hmm. And that way you don't have to repeat the process every morning. You can have a delicious breakfast for mm -hmm. three days. Keep it in your fridge for? Two okay. minutes of work. We have goji berries, which are a superfood. And these are what we're gonna top it with. And they're really crunchy try one and delicious and compared to the creamy smoothie bit inside. Yeah, it's a little hard to eat. Yeah, <laughs> they're a little chewy. Um, and that's why they're just like a crunchy topping. And then we have unsweetened dried pineapple. We have flax seeds, which are gonna go into our smoothie. Chia seeds, which are gonna top our smoothie. And some dried mejudal dates, uh, which are full of also fiber. And they're gonna give us a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of oats for extra fiber. Then we have 1% fat yogurt, and this is Greek yogurt with a lot of probiotics, which again is excellent for digestive health. Um, and it's gonna give you that protein to keep balance out all the fruit for your blood sugar. So we're gonna start with our yogurt. And we have one full cup here of high protein Greek yogurt. And you don't want fat free. You really wanna have 1% fat because it helps to absorb all the calcium in the yogurt. Mm -hmm. And we have our blueberries. Now we're going to add our oats. A shot of oats. One shot of oats. And then the flax seed you have to put in. Whenever they serve you flax seed that looks like this, that's not ground, it has zero health benefit. Really? It goes straight through you and has to be ground up. One day. And that's just going to help because the blueberries are very fresh and they're very tart. 
So we just want a little bit to sweeten it up, and then the rest is how we're going to top it, and that's what makes it a lot of fun. Oh, look at that gorgeous color. Mm. Looks great. Now we're gonna pour some into our bowl. It is a gorgeous color, this nice purple. So this is where you can have the most fun and it's a little different than just making a regular smoothie and that's the topping. So that makes it feel almost like a dessert which goes back to that holistic element of making healthy food fun. Mm -hmm. We're gonna top it with our fruit. And some G. Okay, so these chia seeds, they have a tremendous amount of health benefits, right? Absolutely. Talk and, to us about uh, it. A lot of people are nervous to add them to their diet because they think that they're not going to taste good. They actually have no taste. Yeah. Um, and in here, they're going to gel. So if you would leave this, put the cover on, leave it in your fridge for a week, it'll still taste delicious. It just brings the crunchiness to it? What it does actually is um, you just get all the health benefits. It really isn't going to get stuck in your teeth. It's not like a sesame seed or something. Mm -hmm. And unlike flaxseed, it doesn't need to be ground up. You could eat it straight from here or you could soak it first, either way. And they're full of omega-3 fats, which again are great for your brain health and heart health. They're also full of fiber, which is important for your digestion and again to lower blood sugar. And they're a great source of protein. Okay, well, I'm ready to try this beautiful bowl this beautiful smoothie bowl. It has a lot of different colors. It's very beautifully presented. Good and job. And it makes it more fun to eat. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not too thick, it's crunchy. And uh, what's great is then you can like pick out little bites, just like you would in an ice cream sundae. Uh -huh. And it has that same kind of feel of being decadent and uh, it's a lot better for you. So for those of you who want to learn more and live a healthy lifestyle, you can visit her Facebook page, which is Lily's Kitchen Israel. And your website, LilyAronin.com. And I'd love to see you there. All right, thank you so much. We learned a great amount of stuff today. And it was really fun getting to know you. Thank you so much for having me. And I can't wait to uh, eat this and dig in. <laughs> here, have a bite.